Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everybody. And uh, it's a great honor to stand in front of you and uh, uh, to make this uh, presentation about the work we've been doing. Uh, and uh, before uh, everything, uh, let me thank the organizers for uh, working so hard for all these months to put this together. Uh, thank you, Ali and Muhammad and all of you. Uh, I want to thank, I want to take this opportunity uh, uh, to thank each of you for taking the time from your busy schedules uh, and to be here with us in Brussels. It gives me a great pleasure uh, to be uh, amongst you uh, our respected political leaders, uh, experts, also traditional leaders, Eritrean Afar refugees, Eritrean Afar women, uh, and those who couldn't be here with us in person but sent the message of solidarity uh, and the spirit of the struggle to free our people from tyranny and oppression in Eritrea. I like also to thank fellow Eritreans on this very special day in Eritrean history as we celebrate the September 1st uh, today, the 50, 55th anniversary of independence uh, and Eritrean armed struggle and our Eritrean national hero Idris Awati. So I'd like to big, uh, big, big thank you for this one. As Afar Eritreans, fighting for Afar self-determination for our people in Eritrea, we share the aspirations of thousands of Eritreans who sacrificed their lives to, to fully emancipate themselves from oppression, human rights violation, marginalization, displacement, and exploitation. The same dreams and aspiration which we made, the pioneers like Idris Awati, Idris Gumhat, Abdul Qadir Kabir, and uh, Duni Hassan, Musa Gaas, Muhammad Umar Akito, just to mention a few of them. Um, so that dream and that aspiration is still alive and true today. This is, this is what drives us as all Eritreans fighting against the injustice, oppression against Isaiah Zaporki and the PFDJ and his military junta. So I'd like to uh, speak uh, a little bit about ease. As you can see, at ease, Eritrean Afar State in Exile is a political Afar, Eritrean Afar political organization. Ease, ease will establish a democratically elected Eritrean Afar State in Ankaya, Eritrea. We will foster a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious democratic federation between pluralistic Eritrean society founded in the principle of rule of law, fundamental rights and freedoms, equality of each nationality and respect for the human rights of all Eritreans. We are here today preparing the necessary groundwork for transitional phase leading to Eritrean Afar state government in Afar home state of Tankalia within Federated Eritrea. EASE is the voice of Eritrean Afar people. EASE draws its mandate from a political, traditional, Afar leadership, Afar women, youth group, Eritrean Afar diaspora, and the Afar refugees. Next. Slide two. Uh, we, are we are dedicated to self-determination of self-rule of Eritrean Afar people. We are, dedic we are, we are <coughs> dedicated to end marginalization, persecution, ethnic cleansing of indigenous Afar in areas. <coughs> our dreams, uh, our democratic vision will restore the indigenous rights of our people in Eritrea, including land rights, resource rights, cultural and language rights. Our vision will end 
the cycle of lawless, lawlessness and restore people's confidence in the rule of law. Next. <clears throat> Eritrea is blessed by its cultural diversity and its mosaic ethnic makeup. Uh, each ethnicity and culture has its, its own evolved history. Uh, a Fuerki regime has violated the rights of all of its ethnicity. And the government thinks recognizing cultural diversity means showing cultural dances on every independence day. Is understands, recognizes Eritrea's diversity, protecting their rights in protecting the rights in good for all all our national unity and protection of our sovereignty. His, his plan will restore and respect all Eritrea's ethnicities, their social and, econo and economic grievances, protect religious and political freedoms, and the rights for, of each ethnicity and the region to prosper and chart its in, internal governance. One of the saddest chapters of Eritrea's recent history has been the violation of human rights. As you may know, the Afar and Konama are at the center of most recent report by Commission of Inquiry. The Commission produced the Commission of Inquiry produced one of the most detailed reports of human rights persecution, human rights violation and persecution of Afar in Eritrea. <coughs> The Commission found Eritrea was guilty of persecuting the Afar on the basis of on ethnic basis. The Commission found the government of Eritrea was engaged in campaign of mass killing, rape, forcible displacement, expro, expro, expropriation of land and property, and mass displacement of Afar in Eritrea. The Commission found mass graves in Dankalia. In regards to Afar and Konama Eritreans, the Commission found Eritrean officials have intentionally and, and severely deprived the Eritrean Afar and the Konama of fundamental rights, contrary to international law on ethnic grounds. In paragraph 296, the Commission confirmed the persecution of Afar on ethnic grounds, and the persecution has been an integral part of Eritrean leadership, plan to maintain and its authority in a manner is contrary to international law. Thus, the Commission finds the Eritrean officials have committed crimes of persecution and crimes against humanity in a large scale, in a routine manner, since May 1991, and the persecution persists till today. So. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quite apparent from looking in the report by the United Nations Commission of Inquiry, United Nations Investigators, the International Human, or Humanitarian, Human Rights Organization, but more importantly, those of us who have survived to talk about these atrocities, we can confirm the government of Eritrea has, has committed cultural genocide against the indigenous Afar and the Konama people in Eritrea. The current Eritrean regime classifies Dankalia as closed military zone in order to manipulate and exploit <coughs> the Afar resources and strategy. Afwerki deliberately kept away international access, foreign aid from coming into the Afar population in Dankalia. Afwerki has deliberately destroyed traditional Afar fishing economy their lucrative salt mining industry closed down all trade activities, destroyed the animal world of the Afar people. Eritrea and the PFDJ is destroying Nankali and the Afar people in order to maintain its power grip and exploit the wealth of Afar people to benefit his close circle of friends and generals. Eritrea is achieving this through violence and economic marginalization of Afar people. Nankalia as you can see here, is one of Eritrea's most resource-rich, resource most sought-after strategic prime real estate in Eritrea. 
that Kalia presents key strategic, geostrategic economic interest asset for, for the affordable click. It, 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 is, it is in its original form that Kalia used to be the second largest province in the country with approximately 40,000 square kilometers of land, resource-rich territories, ports, and international seaways. Dankalia presents unparalleled advantage for Eritrea's economic future. The Afar are fleeing Eritrea by tens of thousands. Estimated nearly a quarter of Afar population in Eritrea have fled their homes and property since 1997. As you may know, the cost of Dankalia is now at the center of this geostrategic military and uh, strategic military agreements, business and partnership between international actors and, and the Afwarki. After displacing the indigenous Afar from their ancestral land, the Kalia Eritrea regime is now fully engaged with, with multicultural corporations, foreign governments, now selling the Kalia's strategic coast, which you saw, and resources, port, potash, to foreign entities without the consent of the Afar and, and, and the Eritrean people. A Forgis international exportation strategy now includes the Gulf of uh, the Arab states, Australia, Russia, China, state of Qatar, only to mention few. A Forgis and his junta is now setting over 40, 400 square kilometers of potash rich Afar lands and resources to multinational corporations such as Eritrea, I mean uh, Australia. The Kululi Parash is, is estimated at billions of dollars and PFDG elites and the military brass oh, control over 50% of it and other 50% is of course is gone to the multinational corporations and the AFR left with none, not even in the picture. None of these corporations and foreign governments are considered the property rights of the AFR human rights the devastation it's causing on the traditional economy, their way of life, and the impact it has in the environment, and do not basically care for their corporate responsibilities. Policies of assimilation, Dis, uh, displacement, must be condemned by all of us. Brothers and sisters, what is happening to ethnic Afar and the Kunama is nothing less than social and economical genocide. With all the Ankalia's riches, resources, the Afar Eritreans are one of the most impoverished communities in Eritrea and in the world. As we move forward, uh, I want to share with you uh, the, the, the political uh, uh, roadmap, but I had prepared a video, unfortunately we couldn't play. Welcome to Dancalia. The Eritrean Afar state in exile, EASE, introduces a sustainable socio-economic development and geopolitical strategy for democracy and coexistence in Eritrea. Part of EASE's AFAR Master Plan is Dankalia 2020. The AFAR are one of Africa's long-established First Nation inhabitants of the region called the Horn of Africa. The AFAR have lived in the AFAR Triangle at the convergence of what are now Ethiopia, Djibouti and Eritrea since time immemorial. The Afar Triangle is also the home of Lucy, the oldest skeletal remains yet discovered, 3.2 million years old.
Many paleontologists refer to Afar homeland as the cradle of humanity. The Afar have been practicing their distinct language, economic pursuits, religious practices, and political culture has evolved for many generations. Historically, the Afar nations have governed themselves autonomously without interference and in accordance with their indigenous customary laws, legal systems called Mada, and traditions. The Afar territories were the subject of colonization and occupation separating Djibouti, Eritrea, and Ethiopia in the late 1800s during the Scramble for Africa. Though divided, the Afar have remained connected throughout the Afar Triangle. Welcome to Dancalia. Dancalia strategically situated at the heart of the Red Sea, across from Yemen and Saudi Arabia, over 58,000 square kilometers of land size stretching from the northern tip of Masawa to Rahaita in the south bordering Djibouti is approximately over 1,000 kilometers of pristine beaches and coastal towns. Due to the aggressive hostilities towards neighboring states, the Afar people continue to suffer both socially and economically and Ankalia remains isolated and the most underdeveloped in the region. The present Eritrean leadership turned Dancalia into a military no-go zone, forced vast majority of the Afar population into poverty and displacement, devastated their livelihoods and cut off Dancalia from the international community. Dancalia is one of the most sought after and prime real estate in Eritrea and the Horn of Africa. The coastline, territories and deserts of Dancalia contain wide species of marine life, untapped reservoirs of natural resources and minerals, and precious metals. Geopolitically, Dancalia and the Afar can play a critical partnership role for peace and security in the region and fight against religious fundamentalism affecting the development in the Horn of Africa. Dancalia coast is also home to what was and could again become bustling international Asab and Masawa ports. Dancalia presents a socio-economic bridge from Africa to the Middle East, Asia, and Europe. The Afar Plan. Inspired by their indigenous knowledge and expertise of their traditional economies, way of life, and the determination to turn the page on poverty, discrimination, marginalization and neglect by the current Eritrean regime, our plan is to open up Dencalia and its potential into a free market economy and a powerhouse for development opportunities for all Eritreans. The Afar Plan Dancalia 2020, Rabak Nuwe, Staying Alive, will explore the existing indigenous economies, the strategic coasts, assets and resource extractions, rehabilitation and revamping of the crumbling infrastructure affecting Asab port, refineries, roads and other economic assets, as well as create modern technologies suitable for semi-arid environment, and most of all build a parliament for democratic governance, a university for the development of Afar education system, a reintegration and rehabilitation of refugee centre, and a strategy for sustainable economic growth. Our plan is for Dancalia to leverage its human capital and strive for a better quality of life. <laughs> Look
I'm sure you will, you will realize how you see in the video, you'll probably <laughs> reflect on what I'm, uh, I'm saying to you now. But the policy will reinstate the dignity of our foreign and Eritrean people. Our strategic plan is to lift up our people from, from poverty and marginalization. Our policy will rebuild a democratic institutions and constitutional reform. In order to achieve a political freedom, economic, pro economic prosperity, and multiculturalism, we must re reform the existing, existing but not implemented 1997 constitution. I'm sure you will have more uh, insight about the constitution by uh, Professor Joseph Magnet, who is present here with us today. Uh, so the Eritrea requires a power, power sharing constitution to reflect its diversity, multi, multi ethnic, multicultural, multi faith societies in Eritrea. As, as opposition groups collectively, we must collectively confront the policies of ethnic discrimination, assimilation, and marginalization. Next. The 1997 constitution should not be implement, implemented without modification made to the rights of Eritrean Afar and other smaller nationalities. This is an excessively centralized constitution. The 1997 constitution contains no chapter on minority rights. And the Article 31 of the constitution ensures that Eritrea's central institution will be dominated by the larger nationalities, as they are now. The 1997 constitution contains no guarantee for autonomy rights of uh, regional authorities. The Article 15, Article 1.5 gives the central authorities full control over the region, the carte blanche over the Afar economic, economy, resources, governing structure of all, all of our society. Centralized power has been used to reorganize the regions and depreciate their powers and territories. Nakalia, for example, has been reduced uh, uh, and, and, and it's, 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 it's now uh, divided in two parts. And the Article 23.1 of 1997 Constitution declares all lands, all natural resources below, below and above the, the surface of the, the territory of Eritrea belongs to the state. State means, we all know what state means, it belongs to a foreign king and his, his military. So this article expropriates the indigenous rights of Afar people to the soil, contrary to international law. It deprives the Afar of any guarantees of their traditional pursuit at all. It allows central authorities to appropriate the traditional Afar land, the resource of pastoralists, and sell them, as you can see, as you have seen, to multinational corporations and resource extraction companies. Our, uh, our message here today, as uh, to, to European Union, uh, to, as, as in regards to the implementation of the current Eritrean issue, as you all know, the European Union, the United, Nation, the United States, and, uh, and uh, uh, the US have all uh, recommended that this constitution be implemented. As we stand here today in Brussels, at the center of European constitutional democracy and at the foothill of European Union, a model for those of us who aspire to follow your lead, your, your recommendation to implement 1997 constitution without investigation and its harm it causes to the Afar and other smaller nationalities in Eritrea goes against your values and principles that you stood for in Europe. To our, our Australian friends and the extraction company, you need to change your resource extraction policy dealing with the regime in Asmara. Your corporate responsibility to Afar should be set at the higher moral, moral grounds. Your economic agenda should not be the cause of Afar displacement in poverty and the poverty of Afar in Eritrea. To our brothers in Islam, across the Red Sea. I'm talking about the 
our, our, our brothers specifically to Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and the state of Qatar. Uh, we are not against your development in the Akalia. Uh, but the Akalia's resources, the Akalia's strategic interests, the development plan that you have for the Akalia uh, uh, is, is, is not supposed to be uh, feeding the ty tyranny in the Afwerki and his military clique which is responsible to death and persecution of our people. And as, as, as Muslims, you should, we should recognize that feeding of worky with all this uh, uh, funding and millions of dollars at the expense of, of our people and other Eritreans. This is uh, something that you sh should be ashamed of and, and hopefully revisit your dealing with the Afwerki. Uh, 16. And to Ethiopia, our neighbor. Uh, uh, you know, Ethiopia has been one of the, the most gracious country to those to those of uh, to those of you all Eritreans know that opening up its re uh, refugee. We're very grateful for opening up your doors to our refugees. This is a great neighborly gesture. Ease plan for ease ease's plan for economic development includes you. I'm talking to Ethiopia. <coughs> However, it's time that Ethiopia looks into Eritrean Afar causes in Eze specifically in, in a very serious way. Don't look at the Asa port as some, some kind of commodity that you're, you're after. You need to look beyond the Asa port. Rather, rather, the possibility of mutual respect, coexistence, economic and social brotherhood. So our Eritrean brothers and sisters, Lankalia and Yafar were the birthplace of Eritrean liberation struggle. Afar, Afar Eritreans were the pioneers of Eritrean revolution. The Afar are not secessionist school. We are not about to harm Eritrea. The sad reality of today is that many Eritreans are know very little about the Afar contribution to Eritrean struggle. Under ease, Part of our strategic plan includes protecting the sovereignty and borders of Eritrea. Sorry. I'd like to, to acknowledge a, a, a serious heavyweights who, are, uh, uh, who paid the ultimate sacrifice for those of us to stand here and speak to you today. I'd like to thank those, those who are currently under fear and captivity in Eritrea, those who perished in their way to freedom in the desert of Tankalia, those who perished in the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, your lives were not lost in vain. I'd like to acknowledge the sacrifice made by our late brother, Mr. Ahab Ali Halifa, for his contribution in, to Eritrean Afar struggle. We are greatly in debt to Professor Joseph Magnet, who is here today amongst us. Thank you, brother, brother Joe, for your uh, pro bono work, legal advice, and invaluable uh, commitment to the advancing of the Afar nation's rights. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank brothers from the opposition leadership that are incredibly present with us. I want to thank you for being here with us, and this is a, a good, good way to start understanding the Afar cause, understanding, building the relationship. It's, it's overdue, and uh, we are grateful for that. Finally, I'd like to thank my colleagues, members of EASE, and our elders, of our women, of our refugees, in, in the region, especially in Saudi Arabia, in Djibouti, in Ethiopia, and elsewhere. And uh, I want to thank all of you for granting us an opportunity to see a free, uh, prosperous region where the children of Afar and the Kunama, the Belain, the Nara, the Saho, the Tigray, the Hadra, the Tigrinya, the Jaberti, the Rashida, and all of us live in peace and contrib contribute to development and nation nation building and contribute to sovereignty of Eritrea. Thank you for listening. Thank you.